Oh! Welcome back, everybody, to another news video. I'm going to be talking about a record weekly rotation and a few more pieces of news that I think you're going to find interesting. And of course, hopping straight into our weekly, we got our another week of Rectober. Some pretty cool stuff is inside the Haunt Center. We'll check that out later in this video. Inside the Rec Center right now, you guys will find this new Rec Center shop. Nothing too interesting or too notable. We also desperately need another villainous creature, by the way. I want another villainous creature. Over here inside the board, you guys can notice a few things did change. Then we have a featured creator called Crumpsicles, Builder of Terrain and Interior Design. They are part of Research Lab and they've been in all these things and they play VR in screen mode. Other than that, this is all the same. Hey, I'm on here. Now, no weekly rotation image for these weekly rotations. If you don't know already, they're getting updated and um, hopefully it comes out soon. Now, inside the Seasonal Center, we got a new items. We have this Pirate Queen set that you guys can see. We got the belt, the leggings, the boots. We then have this Pirate Shoulder Buddy, which is so cute. This white Pirate Eye Patch, this green Pirate Eye Patch in a red version. We then also got the Drowned Pirate set, which includes this this hook, the belt, and even this leg. Of course, the best things to come out of this weekly rotation was the pirate squid hat. We got this as well. It's just a new squid hat. And these are the rest of the items that we have, including the skeleton set. Now, inside the haunt center, it seems like they're doing decorations this year for, you know, things happening every single week and stuff like that. We can no longer enter the actual manor and stuff, and we can no longer enter the actual catacombs and stuff. But we did get a new addition of this blue skeleton. He's holding a pumpkin, but if you decide to follow his footsteps, and you come over here, you'll notice that this area is a little different now. They crashed into the rec center. Oh my god. But of course, as you guys can see, we have like this little saloon or bar, I should say, with this thing drinking. My mom is just being mad right here. Then we got this guy digging, this guy saying hello, and we even have this little pirate poked up for a picture. Now, yes, you can actually get on this pirate ship, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is pretty much the new little area inside of the seasonal center now, and uh, we're outside and stuff and if you want to you can even get on top of here too um don't know how this will help you but yeah that's pretty much the haunted center and the new the rotation for this week as you guys can see these are all the discounted offers that we have a bunch of 50 percent offs and be sure to let me know what you guys think now we also received some new ugc as well you guys may not have noticed but if you come to the halloween creations for custom clothing you'll see that we just have new ugc here it was literally just these items not too long ago and stuff but now we have all these items and stuff and that's not all we also have some new ugc inside the other little tab it used to just be sawhorse items but now we have more you know ugc items and stuff and we had received a little announcement from coach literally actually coach they said hey record players and creators we just published rec.net slash room slash evergrown pvp and tag your friends to play and play with laser tag weapons in a familiar rro setting or clone the map and modify it however you like show us what you make with the evergrown game tag on your rooms so now, if you guys don't know, the Evergrown is an area inside My Little Monsters, a Rock Room original, and it seems like they just made a PvP game out of it. It's pretty cool, and honestly, I can see the Evergrown map being super fun to check out. So if you guys want to, that room link will be down inside the description below. Do you have any ideas that you can use to make a cool little Evergrown map? Be sure to let me know what you guys think. Now players are noticing they have a new setting which says auto accept party game invites and I'm assuming whenever someone inside your party leaves to a game it just automatically accepts and takes you with them. So I could see it being helpful you know and stuff but I could also see it being pretty annoying too. Don't know if it's split test or anything be sure to let me know if you have it or don't have it. And we got a little announcement from Rec Room talking about bugs and stuff and they wanted us to help us catch your bugs. Experiencing an audio issue? Report bugs in your settings. Miscellaneous tab on your watch. Include audio in the title and explain the issue in the description and be specific. Tell us when, how, and what, i.e. echoes, delays, volume, and or robotic sounds and if you use headphones or other devices it was just a little announcement about bug reporting and stuff and if you guys don't know you can report bugs in game inside a rec room so if you ever encounter one i guess report it can't believe i lost the kids god damn it <sighs> oh Hey, uh, w welcome to this video. Um, uh, if you didn't know, I have channel memberships. and Basically, they give me money every single month, and I give them perks like being shouted out in my videos and sneak peeks to my videos and stuff like that. Anyways, though, I gotta read out people's names. So, of course, massive shout-out to these folks who include... We got Hydro, Fan 76 Reed Reed, Nat the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dojo Blade Cat, BB Running Owl, Raphael Cloud, Netflix 69 and of course, Box David. Of course, I really do appreciate it at all my channel memberships, Squid Leans included, and you guys have been supporting me, like, forever. So... 
back to this video. Now, I do want to say that this news video is going to be a little short because Rec Room doesn't have too much news at the moment, but I do actually have some important words from Rec Room developers inside the Discord. It's not a dev Q&A or anything like that, it's quite literally just messages that they sent that talk about important things inside the game. Max was talking about the posture issues that new bean body avatars have nowadays. You guys don't know the posture on bean avatars whenever they crouch is just so scuffed, it's terrible. The posture is just weird on bean body avatars to be honest, so yeah. Anyways, Max Powers answers the question, is it possible to make the upgraded bean not use the same sort of stuff that the full body does? I hate sitting down and looking like I have terrible posture. And Max Powers responded by saying, one thing I want to learn more about is we hear about posture issue and from players we've talked to, it sounds like it's because you prefer standing VR mode, but then you want to sit down IRL. So it brings up a few questions to me. Why not use seated mode VR if you prefer to sit, or is it you go back and forth between seated and standing regularly, or do you prefer standing VR? Are VR players not measuring their accurate IRL height? My guess is that there's some unexpected use cases that we don't use ourselves, so we're not seeing the same thing I'm hearing about. He then came back with a little digestion, just digesting a few things I'm hearing. Number one, if we revisited how the crouching animation looked while the avatar and the upgrade bean avatar to be less bent over, that could be an improvement for some, and two, there's a legit case for using standing VR mode but wanting to sink to a chair or floor for comfort reasons, I'm thinking through a few options. Fix seated mode so it works better, doesn't change your height, works with all turn issues, or have a setting that when set allows the VR to sink into the floor, and full body costume would do the same thing with classic bean where when equipped, you'd go back into a crouching or prone position. And unfortunately, at the moment, that's pretty much all the record news that we have for today's video. There isn't a ton, but of course, there was still some that I thought I'd talk about. Be sure to let me know what you guys think down inside the comments below. Anything interests you, hey guys, not interest you. Day. And of course, I'll be looking at them. And that's pretty much it. If you guys want more record news, my channel is quite literally full of it. So you guys should see a video on that side of the screen and stuff like that. Like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff. I really do appreciate it. Use my code in game. I didn't even tell you to use my code. I'm going to fight you. And of course, that's pretty much it. That's this entire video. Bye.